And now we're joined by Amit at the helm of Soul Flower. Amit, welcome to Trailblazers. Thank you. Thank you, I, Jasper. I've got, I've got two, two we, I want to shower you with praise. The, the first element of praise is you definitely win the sartorial award on Trailblazers for the coolest shoes. Thank you. Award number one. The second award is an award for monogamy, right? So we've had many fellows here that have been across multiple brands. You're a, you're a one brand man, right? Yes. So in the world of Tinder, I always say, in the world of Tinder, it's very odd to be a, you know, in the monogamy relationship. And I believe that uh, that has what been my belief personally. And I have enjoyed my journey there. And I think the way consumers have shared their love or their, you know, affection for my brand has helped me to be there. Well, that's a brilliant So place. I think it's a, it's a continuous romantic relationship with my consumer and their behavior, the way they engage with my brand. I think that's what it, keeps me on. It, it's a great love affair. It's like Bogey yes. and Bakul. We'll, 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 uh, we'll get into this in a second. I can't possibly comment on Tinder or my wife will be after my life, thinking I have some <laughs> knowledge of it. But let's get into, um, let's get into Soul Flower. So, market expansion, right? I mean, you know, that feels like going from Haryana to Noida to the Punjab or whatever. But I think you think about market expansion a bit differently, don't you? Yes. Uh, so there are three things about market expansion. One is geographical, second is behavioral, and third is cultural. I think one thing which we have been focusing very clearly now is behavioral. Uh, to just to give you a basic gist, people buy gifts, so we sell a lot of gifts. People buy gifts, but people really don't plan to buy gifts. It's very momentary. So changing that two days delivery to a 10 minute delivery of a gift sitting here you can order my gift in 10 minutes it will be delivered to you in this office i think that changed our game that made our market much bigger and larger because people are not planned and uh, that is one market expansion second is cultural uh, we are a natural product company uh, so culturally people who believe in nature are the one who come and they help us to expand our market. So I think this is how we look at market, besides the geographical markets where we are present. Well, let's stay, let's stay in the kind of, um, in the soul of this, Amit, because, you know, every second fellow can rush off and expand from here to there. But, but I like what you said about believing in nature and your customers believing yes. in nature. Is there something here about successful expansion is directly correlated with whether, with whether you mean it, right? <laughs> 100%, I think as a consumer, like let's say you, me, we have certain belief. It might be pure water, uh, which uh, Rakesh spoke about, or it might be just pure air, you know, with the way you want to breathe, or you just want to see the green side of India, which, you know, the New Delhi has. I feel every aspect of what you like subconsciously defines if you are culturally inclined towards being natural, using natural products. And luckily in India or in the Middle East market where we operate and we you know, control that market for hair growth, we see a huge opportunity there. And that's where our market is expanding. And do you feel, I mean, I'm, I'm always, um, I'm sure many of us are, are often staggered by the ability with which people can take one trip, let's say to Tokyo, and the next thing you know, they're a massive Japanese expert. Yes. But I like what you said about the time it takes. So, Amit, talk to us about that. 23 years. Do you know, I mean, I've been building a restaurant business in India for 10 years. It's nothing. Market expansion takes a lot of time lot of and time. knowledge, right? A lot of time. A lot of time. I think it's an, also an inflection point. You know, you, it's like a hockey. You keep on working, working, working. Nothing is happening, and one day everything just starts happening, and I think that is what I am seeing. Like my own journey, last just I'll I'll skip this three years. Prior to twenty years, a lot of work, a lot of retail work, a lot of distribution, a lot of things, and today I feel like okay, we are there everywhere. It's not what I have done in last three years. It's actually that last twenty-three years, which my customer has helped me to build the business. Well, and it's very interesting, isn't it? Because in a certain way, if you listening to you. There are those that can kind of plan expansion in year five, year 10. And there are those that expand because it happens, right? It, it is, I think it is just a sheer love of people. You know, you keep on doing what you're doing at. It's, it's like cricket, you know, somebody just spoke about Sachin Tendulkar and it's like cricket. You keep on playing your game, playing your game. And one day you become a master and people love you for what you have done in your past. And that's how people build trust. Well, it's very interesting, this authenticity. I want to kick this over to Vishal a bit. So you've got, you know, hundreds, possibly thousands of clients. I like, I like what Amit's saying about 
the authenticity here, right? But of course, you're in the business of, dare I say it, client billings and time and all this sort of stuff. How do you help clients to just stop and be a bit more real? Look, like he said, uh, and I agree with him, uh, it's continuity that plays in a very important role. You've got to be persistent at it, what, whatever that business you're into. And uh, it's not about uh, just doing something and uh, hoping that it's going to do well for you, but keep doing that one thing time and time and again. And that's, that's precisely how uh, really brands build their equity and businesses sort of uh, grow there. So it's a, I mean, it's a very human, human thing, right? I think uh, loyalty, longevity, plays in every relationship. So. OK, and, and here we've, um, I mean, if you looked at this show through one, one lens, it, it looks like a non-stop story of market expansion success. But you must have had your fair share of setbacks on, on expansion. I think uh, we expanded in US. And uh, I think we thought US is a very large market, can do really fantastic well. But when we got into the market, I think the market is so different than any other market in the world. I think somewhere we realized that we are not meant for US, though we do well there. Or even UK, you know, from where your brand comes from. Uh, we realized we are not meant for these markets. We are very meant for markets which are India, Middle East, Japan. So where there is a cultural fit. Japan has some commonality between India and Japan, might be Buddhism. Uh, Thailand and India might be Buddhism. Uh, so, so many similarities. So hence I said, you know, that word culture. So if culture is common somewhere, some element of culture, it helps you to expand the market. And we do very well in Saudi because they love uh, the Indianness of it. We do very well in UAE. So I think certain markets are just great and well, they do fantastic. Again, it's interesting listening to you and as a, as a, as a British guy, that's been in Delhi. So I'm like an honorary dilly waller after 10 years. You know, I know a certain amount, but gosh, it's a long, it's a long game. And here's my point is, I think you have to be there, don't you? You have always have to be there. And you have to keep on working. You have to keep on learning from every aspect. That's what we do in most of the markets where we are present in. And I'm still learning the Indian market. It's just changing every day, I feel so. Well, it, it, it's great. I, it, it, the combination of your appetite for learning and your spectacular footwear. I, I'll tell is, you, our thing came for this 10 minutes was something interesting. We call it Maggie effect, you know, because you yeah. can cook Maggie in like two minutes, though it takes 10 minutes technically. So when we started talking to our people, consumers, that when is that you realize you want to buy the product? And most of the people said, when we enter our bathroom and we realize soul flour soap is getting over or shampoo is getting over or oil is getting over. And for me, the worry is so big that if my product does not reach this guy or the woman, the chance is he or she might switch to some other product lying in the bathroom. And that's where polygamy might happen, right? And that's an that's interesting part. So I want to make sure that I'm very much there for them. So that this whole concept of 10 minutes delivery is very, very hardcore for us. Well, OK. And, and it's interesting again there, isn't it? I'd, ne I'd never thought of um, sort of um, cheating on my soap. But, 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 but I take your point. And, that's but there's a happens. paranoia behind it, right? It's not, market expansion is not abstract. You, 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 and in fact, once you expand, you've got to, you've got to hold the territory. Yes. You have to, otherwise you just lose or somebody else will come and encash on what you have worked on. So and I think that is very, very important in today's time. Okay, we're, um, we're, uh, we're in the home, the home straight. Um, Amit, do a bit of crystal ball gazing, right? Where do you want to expand to now? Are you happy where you are? Do you, do you see other frontiers? Do you... I think... Uh, is it a as physical a brand, thing? Is as, it? I, as I said, anywhere Indianness is there, Indian culture connect is there. So I think uh, for me personally, or for the company personally, Middle East, beside India, I think Middle East is one of the markets which is very, very strong. Uh, huge reception for the Indian products, and huge reception for receptiveness for uh, you know the natural products. I think that is where the real market will be post-India. So Saudi is one place where we are betting very big. Well, we wish you, I mean, we wish you the best of luck on that. The Thank only thing you. I can say to the Gulf Cooperation Council and the customers is, if you want to look as good as Amit, thank you. Buy Soulflower. Amit, thank you, thank you for coming thank on you. Trailblazers. Thank you. You've been thank a great you. guest.